This episode is sponsored by Extra Ketchup, a streetwear brand based out of New York City. All the items that you see on the screen are available online now for purchase at extraketchup.store. Use promo code CORRUPTED for 20% off your next purchase today. I speak with corrupted tongue. Re- recognize the underworld since I was young. Re- recognize the underworld since I was young. Re- recognize the underworld since I was young. I, sp- I speak with corrupted tongues. Corrupted Conversations, first place trophies only. I go by Henry Blanco, a.k.a. Young Mariah Carey, because I'm very beautiful in the face, you feel me? A.k.a. Young Oprah Winfrey, only when I file my taxes, you heard? A.k.a. Young Angie Martinez, the new (laughs) voice of New York. This is what it is. I don't even got to talk about the surgery that I'm going to do, but this is what it is. I look like a young Angie Martinez. We came to win. First place trophies. Trophies only. Today we have a special episode. What we have here today is an entrepreneur, a visionary, a writer, a vocalist, a rapper, a young man that is aiming to contribute musically. And we are here to speak about a project that he is soon dropping titled Industrial Denim. Now, I do a cute little WWF entrance for my guest and all that. But, doggy, can you do me a favor? Can you tell the people what your name is, what you go by, and where you are from? Okay. I'm sure you get this a lot, but that was the best <laughs> intro anyone's ever given. <laughs> Yo, thank I'm you, Andre Lawrence. Uh huh. Otherwise known as Dustrial Dre, Flea Strauss, many monikers. Basically, I'm from New York City. Mm hmm. And it's a beautiful thing. That's it. Upper West. <laughs> upper West. Shout Uptown. out the Upper West Side. Shout out, shout out to Manhattan. Manhattan but also, shout home. out all the boroughs. Of course, man. I'm just a kid trying to create things. I love that. And be genuine and make sure that nothing gets lost in a gray area. And we do that. everything to the most great extent that we can i love that man that was that was amazing right there and i like that because we start in human so about to bounce off of that pause uh, i want to start it like this real human um from the moment that you woke up bro from the moment that you opened your eyes to right now how can you capsule that feeling for the people let the people know how you are feeling bro okay. from the moment you opened your eyes to right now on a on this day specifically today i'm feeling great i feel like i woke up Eyes open, I was like, shit, I need to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I went to the bathroom, went back out, then I drank my coffee. And once I drank my coffee, then I had the thought of, you know, greatness. Mm. And that's the thought that we all should have at a certain point in the morning. I went to confer with my roommate, Keon, as he had a nice lady friend leave the house. I mean, come on now. Then... (laughs) You know, it was his birthday. Yo, shout out, Key, Key Lordy. Shout out the lady friends on your birthday. And my, my roommate, I live with him and his mom, so that's pretty cool. Amazing. And basically, we went, made a video, made the back track list, then I did my laundry, and then we came here. Love that. Listen. And then we just smiled. Smile. Big part of the day. This is what it is, man. You, 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 I feel the electricity. You could already feel the electricity. Real human shit. How I truly want to start the show is with this infamous segment I have called Grip Bow. Uh, so what uh, I have here is I have 10 words. It's kind of like a lightning round. Yeah, yeah, we here, brother. We I'm, here now. I'm, my hoodie is my, I'm in, I'm in mode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just went into the shadow realm real fast. Like the way you just, you put on the sunglasses. That's how, I, I yeah, to, bro, listen. This that, is like my evil Kermit. I, <laughs> I love you that. Me? I love that, I love that. So look, I have this infamous segment called Clip Bow. I have 10 words. We're going to run down each of them individually. When I throw them at you, just give me the first thing that comes to your mind. Bet. So we're going to start with the first one. Pow, happiness. Life. Elaborate a little bit, brother. What makes you happy about the life? Life, it more makes it feel like purpose is mm. happiness mm, for okay. life. And it's like life in its essence, you just want to try and get to the furthest point of long-term happiness. And so happiness, life. I love that. Solid answer, man. This is what it is. We're going for the second one. Pow, Michelin. The greatest, one of the greatest songs in the world. Now, 
Wait, that wasn't a word. <laughs> Greatness. I love that. I love it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. This is a song. Wait, it has to be one word or it can it be It could be friend. whatever, bro. Oh, bad. Be, oh, oh, oh. Go oh. crazy. Mission. Great. Okay. Greatest song of all time. I one love of the that. Songs. I love that. I love that. Now, is it true that this is... For now, it's a song, but it, one day you would you would want it to be a movie, a this film. Is, this is ideally, we're working out the kinks of it. I'm writing the script currently, but yes, this is hopefully a full one. We might we might not hit the full. It depends on how much money I have soon. Right. Ooh. I hope I plan to have a lot, so there you go. that's my goal to make it a movie, but I'd write, you know, it could not be supported in the way that I'd like it to be, and mm -hmm. then I might need to make it 30 minutes, but I'm going to make it into something at least. I love I that. I love distinct that. distinct vision for it. So I love that. I love that. Know. So is is screenwriting something that you want to, you would want to do like as much as rap? I mean, not as much. Okay. All right. Well, maybe, maybe old, like I want to be old and doing shit like that. Okay, I like it. I like it. And then I'll be like, make, I'm going to still make mad music at that age. Yeah. But I'm not trying to be performing and touring and like trying to push my face and image and be mm -hmm. famous. I'm trying to like it. hit some movie shit. You know? I could dig it. I um, love it. I love it. Bring them ideas and thoughts to life. We're going to keep um, it moving. Clip bow. Ben and Jerry. The one on 104th and Broadway. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, my, my, my place to relax. <laughs> What is your favorite order from that Ben and Jerry? Oh shit. Milk and cookies. All right, hold up. Milk and cookies, <laughs> cherry garcia delicious. and a small cherry with garcia. sprinkles. And then I since I'm a I work there on the low, mm -hmm. I take out a cookie. Like we sell fire ass cookies. I break up the cookie and I put that shit in in the ice cream. So I have my own very unique thing that I tend I to that. do when I get high when I work there. I don't think my owner, the owner, will be seeing it. But I literally smoke with my manager too. There, fuck it. So it's calm. Shout out, shout, shout out, out to managers. And, and you know, ASAP Ferg used to work there too. Same one. Interesting. Same. We had the same employee group. Wow. Mad mad people that Yo. I work with used to work with ASAP Ferg. So that shit is fly. That's They're crazy. Used to having a rapper in there. That's but funny. He got fired, I think. Uh, well, listen, it happens. You know what I'm, I mean? People I'm get still, hired, people get fired I'm every still day. Rocking. Now, how I knew that, I don't know. <laughs> but we're gonna keep it moving. Clip pow. Anxiety. Um something I deal with but don't enjoy. Okay. All right, all right. Now but, is yeah. it oh no, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, no, go ahead. No, no, you could go. Is it something that is it something that like your self awareness of it? Is it something that you had from the beginning or you developed? Super, I think I low-key always had it as a kid right. and shit. And then when I got older and went to therapy, I was like, oh, shit. Like, I am really fucking got anxiety because mm -hmm. they were just uncovering a lot of shit with me. I've been smoking weed since I was like 13. So okay. it was kind of like, once I started smoking weed, I was kind of like chilling. Okay. It wasn't that bad. I love that. And then, and then, but I also don't want to be like completely codependent on weed my entire life. Interesting. I low key just started taking Zoloft type shit. Okay. But it's 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 calm. It's I mean it's, it's something like, that you, it, it can be the worst, but right. it's also like something like I know how to push through. Like I know what's happening. Like mm. for me personally, if like my body, if my legs start shaking or some shit, or I just start getting anxiety for no reason, it's like I I know what it is, and then it's like I identify that shit and rock with it. Fuck it. I love that. I love that. Listen, self awareness like a motherfucker. I love that. We're gonna keep it moving. <clears throat> Pow, bed rest. Is Off days. It, now, is it is it true that you were on bed rest for three months oh, for shit. snapping your arm? I in wasn't half? really on bed rest. I probably exaggerated that. But well, listen, I did. sometimes Yo, like, you're you're an artist. We exaggerate you see that things. Shit? I, oh, I see it. That's that's insane. I should. I got like a screw in there. So so I, like, talk to me, man. Basically, I did a kick flip down like a little like. Um, hump at the fucking park, uh -huh. a little hip, and I landed like primo, which is like when you land your feet on the edge of the board. Okay, and I flicked back, and my arms snapped. Oh. and then they cut open my favorite hoodie because they couldn't get me out of the hoodie, so they cut open my favorite hoodie to get. Uh, oh, I and then I went on, and then they gave me ketamine. But to get me in the cast, because it was literally hanging, like my oh, arms like this, oh, my hand Christ. is over here. 
so then I'm ha- holding it together, holding it the skin together by my hand, and then they put me in a fucking cast when I was on ketamine, and I was like low key K-hole and like in my shit. I remember like <laughs> my arm was in the toilet bowl. Oh my god! Fucking getting flushed, and then my mom and like interrogated me. And it was Jesus crazy. Jesus Christ! Uh, did you create your first song around that time? Jay's on my feet. Jay's in my hand. Exactly, yo. I created it with him right here. That's how true it is. That's that's my so we we literally made um that in my dad's office on like a blue yeti mic. And like we was like we thought we was about to get famous then and there. It was a like low key, it was mad well written. Like when I listen to it now, I'm like, damn, the delivery wasn't there, but this song <laughs> yeah, is yeah, well. Yeah. I had mad anecdotes in there. I love that. I talked about mad shit in that song. So yo. Yeah, Jay's like Jay. Yo, that shit was fun. That's crazy. How do I know that? I don't know. But we go listen. We go keep it pushing. We go keep it pushing. This is a Sherlock. Sherlock. <laughs> yeah, I know some things, man. We do research. Pow. Tight jeans. Tight jeans. Hate the worst. <laughs> is it true? Pet peeve that you don't wear anything under a size thirty two. Pause. Yeah, never. That would be <laughs> terrible. Is it true that you feel like tight jeans is part of capitalism? Yo. This these are real things. I think so. These are real. Because what do tight jeans do? Produce they can produce a discomfort, bro. It's, discomfort, but it's comes also from just like the you government produce a discomfort in the people around you. Also, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, yeah. If one of my men is moving <laughs> nah, around, playing. yo, no, my, but like, yeah, like, it'd be like I'm that. Just saying, I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I just never been a fan, of, right. of it, and you know. I'm always a if you, people when people are making the switch their kids at the skate shop they'll be like yo you think I should get some baggier jeans I'm like yes like bro mm. you wearing fucking skinny ass jeans and you need to get with the <laughs> steez I dig it listen this is what it is that's what preference is about you know what I'm saying yeah. and it's funny too because there's like a little theme around we will talk more about the the jean stand and the denim and all that but listen we're gonna keep it moving to the next Who's one. Saying? Pow, Bowery Electric. Bro, these motherfuckers. <laughs> Is it true that they did not let you perform? No, they did not do They did not let me perform. Why? All right, I'm going to give you the whole rundown. Let's Basically, go. I walk in, give him my in. fake ID. Let's do this. The dude that booked me was like, yo, you should probably use your fake type shit when you go in because it was 21 plus. Arlo had gotten in somehow. Arlo is younger than me. They gave him like an X on the hand. I give him my, f- and Arlo also gave them his fake and got denied. I'm just airing mad shit out, but fuck it. I, I love that you're getting booked for places that you can't even go in. That's in. what I'm saying. That's, that's I beautiful. give the fake, I give the fake ID to them, and then they're like, and I'm with a bunch of my homies who about to perform with me, mm-hmm. and then they're like, yeah, this is fake, and we're not doing any more X's. I'm like, wow, they were like, we just did someone an X on someone. I'm like, yeah, that because he's doing my set like he's DJing the set like what do you mean and they're like nope 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 under no circumstances this John Malkovich ass looking motherfucker <laughs> pulls up from the stairs he's like absolutely not absolutely not we're not doing that like, here. All right, bro, relax. I'm like alright bro so we go outside while the dude that booked us is like we're gonna figure it out we go outside we're, there's smoke I just quit grabber so I'm not hitting the ju- I'm not smoking at all yeah. My friends are smoking, but it's raining, so we're under the fucking awning. Right. Then they come back out. The dude comes back out and he's like, um, he's like, the guy that booked me comes out and he's like, We can get you to perform, but it would be just you and Arlo, and you would have to be in and out at like, do you want to talk to him? I'm like, I guess I'll talk to him, but I don't really like the idea of that. Anyway. Yeah, like, you know, like, why I, I, like Bro, like we these can conditions. Have, is yeah, like, no. I don't like the conditions. So then, I, but I, then I come up to him, and then I'm like, "Yo, I don't really like. I've never been in a venue that this has happened. Like, I don't know why this is an issue." And right. Then he's like, "Uh, he fucking is like, <laughs> fuck, I'm high as fuck. This- I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, he said, "Yo, that's so ironic." He said, "Think more, smoke less." He's like, you got to think more, smoke less. And I'm like, I wasn't even smoking. And then we were just just like, yo, why are you eating so much dick? And then, (laughs) you know, like. On the buffet line. 
We just left and I slandered them on IG. I mean, listen, sometimes you got to slander people social media wise, you know what I mean? They can get Necessary. the message. It's better than violence. It's better than acting ignorant. I might as well just call you out. We keep it pushing. You still go, they still going to make your mo they, they money and you still doing your thing. So I was just letting things. everyone know. I didn't want anyone to go in there with the false impression that they right, did yeah, something yeah, yeah. good. They yeah, did yeah, nothing yeah. good. Nothing good. Listen, this is what it is. It happens and this is, we're here to talk about it. We're going to keep it moving to the next one. Say no more. Bow. Bed, toilet, or on the train? These are the places I write. The most. Where, where do you write the best? I write the best in those three places, but on the toilet is <laughs> Out of those three, always... which one? This toilet. Uh, Out of those three, which one do you feel like you write toilet. the best? Yeah, you write you 100%, shit. 100%. Nah. Dropping a log? I mean, like, now that you're saying it like <laughs> that. I mean, it'd be like that. I write my key... best captions. I've edited my best Bro, videos I'm, on the shitter. I'm writing in there, but I'll also, like, just stand, like, low key. Sometimes I just. I don't know. Sometimes I'll just around. be in the bathroom yeah, because because I share. Keon's mom works on the other side of my right, wall, right, right, so right, I don't right. like to be like. And I've recently just been like singing a lot, like coming up with melodies and That's shit. Dope. So, or like in the crib. I love that. In like yeah. someone's crib that I'm recording at, I'll probably write. That's good though. At least, at least, shit. yeah. At least you have three different scenarios where you feel comfortable to write. That's well, the, I write anywhere, anywhere, though. anywhere. Yeah, I, okay. I'll be in class writing mad raps. I love that. That's All what it's. Listen, that's what it's about. You gotta constantly um, exercise your ideas and your creativity. It's just, I'm one with it now. It used to not be like that, but mm -hmm. I forced myself to do it so much that, that now it feels like I'm just like one with my pen. It's just like amazing. Any, Anytime I think of something, I need to put it. Let's come. Yeah, I love that. Amazing, amazing. All right, we're going to keep it pushing. Pow. Singing in your dreams. I do that shit. Is it true that you had a dream where you sang in front of your second grade crush? Oh, that's facts. I dead. Yo, what the <laughs> fuck? Nah, did I say that somewhere? What nah, the? I don't know about that. Bro, yo, I dead. Yo, yeah, mm -hmm. that's facts. Talk what's what song were you singing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really remember. I just remember having that dream for some reason. I was singing like at that point in time when I was like that young. I yeah. was singing in my room all the time on the piano, but I would be like freestyles. Like mm -hmm. I'll show you after. I was like, I don't want to pay for a metro card again. <laughs> like I remember doing that, and I screen recorded it off some shit. And then, like, I guess I was, like, thought I was going to be, like, an artist for, like, probably, like, three months. Right. As, like, a seven-year-old. <laughs> and then I was like, nah, fuck that shit. I just, being seven years old and singing, you don't want a Metro car no more. Nah, I ain't want the Metro car. Yeah, who wants a fucking Metro car? I knew, I knew from a young age what my what my priorities were, and paying for the subway wasn't. Yeah, okay. It wasn't, <laughs> wasn't wasn't on the list. I love that. I love that. Listen, this, I don't know how I know that, but we're gonna keep it pushing. It is what up. it is. Caught me a little <laughs> off guard. <laughs> Listen, it is what it is. Last one. Bow. Industrial denim. Classic. Classic. Now, this is a 14-track project that you're dropping on April 7th, fully produced by Arlo Walker, correct? Yes, yes, absolutely. All right, so but now, now, now it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of the product. This is what we came to do. We came to speak about the product. Shout out supply and demand. Supply Consumers and demand. forever. This is yes. what it is. So now, the first thing I want to talk about and the first thing I want to get into is the artwork, brother. Uh, for oh, the viewers, shit. everything will be on the screen. For you, it will be on the laptop. I want to break this down. I want to get into the... Uh, in Yo, is, there, is it true you went to Boston for this? I ain't go to Boston for it. He went... All right, so... Talk to me. Isaac is Arlo's friend from from NYU, and now he shoots He shoots a lot of shit at SOBs. He shoots a lot of shit at venues and shit. He's right. not a good photographer, but... We had originally wanted to do it. We went to the skate shop, had mad kids from the neighborhood all bring their jeans into the skate shop. I decorated the whole shit with jeans across it and then put the records up all on the shelves and everything. Mm. And we did like a whole photo shoot. And then me and Arlo like didn't really like him as the cover. Okay. So we low-key told him that and we were like, yo, we're going to keep trying because we're just like 
need it to be you know we just have you have a vision yeah we have a vision it weren't bad but like it could be better then the kid was he went back home for spring winter break or some shit okay and then he was like yo i'll come back he went like six hours on the bus okay there, shot the shit and then went six hours on the bus back in one day i love that just to shoot and then we put there's like jeans i don't know if you can tell but like on the cover the covers of the bed isn't covers it's just jeans mm, there's really? probably like yeah 50 jeans on that oh, shit. shit okay so what? that's all jeans and then it's jeans hanging and we just shot honestly it was mad fun like we were wow. just shooting and and yeah it was cool talk to me about the vinyl what, that's what, like, what, what's that's up with been the vinyl? my vision from before the the project existed talk to me what what what, what about vinyl so you want why do you want to involve it into into your vision all right i feel like my really some of my fondest times and like the later part of my high school time in high school was okay. like me going to record stores and shit even Love though that. i wasn't super into making music at the time i would still go to record stores i just like was kind of fascinated with it a little bit mm -hmm. just from youtube like youtube and seeing all these artists i fuck with and watching them go to right. record stores and shit mass appeal and whatever mm -hmm. so i don't know that was like I was already kind of familiar with it. And then I would go to record stores I was a local at because I had drawn on one that got scratched up. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to draw on it. I drew Dustrial Denim. That mm. was my idea for the project. I didn't make a song. I made probably like 50 songs that year. None of them were good enough to be on the project. I didn't make a That's song real. for Dustrial Denim until a year after I started drawing on them. So I was drawing on them at my, like when I was at University of Vermont. I was just drawing industrial denim, doing the buildings, like low key, like just longing for the city super heavy. Mm. So I was like just missing New York City. I was drawing the fucking skyline I love over, that. and over, fucking and over and over and over and over. And then I would go in to the shops I was a local at and be like, yo, you got any Scott Shop records for free? And they're like, nothing for free. I'm like, I mean, like, you can't <laughs> play it. And they're like, oh, bet. Then they go in the back, have mad scratch up records. Mm, wow. So we're we're nearing like hopefully I'm gonna hit a thousand at some point, but we're we're close. Really? Yeah. Where are you holding all these? I mean in my I, crib and my parents' crib. Really? They're, Almost they're all, a thousand, bro? Bro, there's a lot of them, bro. I've been doing it for a long time. And we're gonna put the QR code in the center of all of them. Is it something therapeutic for you? Yeah, I mean, I used to just get high. I haven't drawn on one in a minute, and then this recently, I just got this fat ass new batch, and I was just drawing on them all morning. So like, it's therapeutic, but it's also just like a way where I can just like focus on one thing, mm. and not like it's meditative, but not okay. therapeutic. Okay, I can see that. I it's know meditative. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I like. It's that. just like I'm like almost Bob Ross in it sometimes. I'm just like dabbing. <laughs> A little like dots. And Everybody shit. need a little bit of Bob Ross in the in in their formula. I'm trying to For be like real. the Bob Ross of hip hop. <laughs> I like that for Bob Ross. All right, all right, all right. So that's real denim. Two years in the making, correct? Yeah. Um, I would say I would say though, talk two me. years in the making in the sense that I was drawing on the records for two okay. years. Okay. Had the idea for what I wanted to do. But okay. Next, but I'd say a year and a half musically. Love it. Love it. Talk to me about the chemistry with Arlo, bro. With Arlo Walker. I mean, bro, we're just very, we have like, we don't have like such similar backgrounds, but we kind of have like this like relationship where I can just, we can just post up and not have to make anything ever. Mm -hmm. And so then when we do want to make something, it's like very special. And like every song has to be like, We'll make a million throwaways, but then when we really like care about a song, it's like I want to convey some. We want to convey something together as a. We just want what's best for the song at that point, and then Absolutely. it's like we just are like. There's no animosity about anything. There's no, no ego. There's no, no, no ego. Not. It's just like it's a natural. It's just like, Yo, what if we try this? And then we might try it, and then not fuck with it. Right. And then, 
that's cool but at least we tried it and then we're gonna do keep trying shit and then at some point you try some shit and it's like fuck that shit's crazy right like rich we had made i think three songs where i had been using that sample like that mm -hmm. but we're just like try it was corny but then it was like we were just like trying it enough that then we hit it in the right spot and then it was like oh this is actually something crazy but we wouldn't have gotten to that if we didn't have the lack of ego to be able to like try something that might be not valid exactly you know? here you go that's a fact you basically sculpted it till you found the right the right sculpture i guess yeah that's yeah pretty much all right all right that's let's talk it. about the, the title dust real dental um is 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 those those two words industrial well industrial stemming from industrial correct yes and then being like a some somewhat of a, like a theme or a concept about leaving the nest this is this is kind of it's more like those is the those are the type of jeans that i was wearing before when i was still living at my parents crib and okay. still a kid and it's the same, the only constant of after. I'm still wearing the same jeans. They're just a little tethered now and they're okay. not as, you know, but it's still the same, like, jeans. Mm. But that's the constant because there's so many things that changed in that period. It's, it's really a coming of age album, but, like, the there's so many things that changed in that period of time that those were, like, the only thing that didn't change. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, even man. right now, like... Speak on it. Show it. Look, look. Even my sh shit right now is like this. What do you but think that the represents? the same. I've had these since I was fucking 15. Wow. So, so it's the same jeans. That's what I'm... That's what I guess it signifies. Mm. Mm, mm. Listen, listen. I, I love concepts. I'm a theme. I'm a theme based type of person. So, things like that, man. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely into it, and and I appreciate it when I see it um, thought out from an artist. You know what I'm saying? So that's dope, appreciate bro. That. That's dope, brother. Uh, I want to speak about the music videos. Say that. Um, you got four music videos for for four different songs, right? Type for time it. in the week, we mine's good. Correct. Kick it and greener grass. Now, Time in the Week was the first one, correct? Yep. Talk to me about that a little bit, because that video is fire. The, for the, the record that, is, is crazy. That video was mad fun, too. Yeah, it looked it, it looked like y'all like, was just outside, just, just being mad. It didn't even feel hey, like kids, we were shooting a video. I'm going to keep it real. I I'm, was low-key skating that whole day. I'm from, listen, I'm from Queens, spent a lot of time in Brooklyn, basically big BQE energy. I'm, I, I do have a certain fascination when it comes to Manhattan kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't lie. It's a very specific breed. Yeah, man. And 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 that's what I got from that video. Nah, I appreciate that. You know what I mean? So talk, I mean, talk to me a little bit about like the, the problem. Bro, I mean, basically that summer, we were just hanging out at the skate shop like every day. Like we would just go to the skate shop, me, Runt. Dylan, Sko, Keon, everyone. We would just be at the skate shop every day. The skate shop is two blocks away from Ben and Jerry's type shit. Mm -hmm. So I would just like kind of lived on those two blocks. And we just had uh, this kid Owen c pulled up. We were just filming, kicking it, smoking a lot of weed. Went down to the river. That was fun. Yo, we low key. That whole day, we had a second shot, like, shoot of that, mm. where we were inside. I had shots in the train, in the crib. We were all in the crib smoking blunts. I had on sunglasses. It was mad fly, but it just didn't fit the okay. outdoor theme that was like there. That. So we just ended up not using it. I made it, like, a little second video as a little promo shit. Okay. But it wasn't... We just, I don't know. It didn't fit, it didn't fit the, the Yeah, but the, it was a fun day. We were just being kids. I love that shit. Yeah. I love seeing shit like that. It's, like I said, again, I don't want to exaggerate too much, but yeah, my, my perception of kids from Manhattan. Y'all like, got We just be on city bikes and Y'all got it on, y'all yeah, like, on a yeah. different type of flow. Like, yeah, I was in the Low East Side it. yesterday. We was in the Low East Side. I go to Manhattan. I go to Midtown, yeah. Uptown, all that, right? But to live there and to really like, I guess... 
uh, build your identity or who you are in the in the in that fast paced Manhattan energy. Yeah, I'm always fascinated by things like that, and I think that visual definitely um, nah, put that on display, that. man. The color, the, I wouldn't go crazy with the color. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. Love that shit, colors. that shit was amazing. His colors um, are crazy. Mine's good. That shit was mad. Yo, Raymond is mad. The guy that shot that is crazy. One thing I liked about that that stood out was the the, the scenes with the lights. Yo, that was like... That was hard. That's some like... That's what I'm saying. Like, what we do is different because there's no like... We are not afraid to have ideas. Mm -hmm. So that was... I feel like one of my friends just said, yo, we should all flash the lights. That shit was hard. Like, someone had one light and then he was like, nah. Everyone put on their lights. And then the videographer was like, yo, that'll be fire. That'll be fire. And we put out the idea and... We just, everyone was just doing it. There's mad other footage of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's got the fucking flashlight in my face and they pushing me and fucking beating me up and shit. And we, it's not it. It, it, it. it definitely fucked with my eyes. And yeah, it reminded it was, me about, it reminded me of, I don't know if you ever saw Get At Me Dog by DMX. Oh, yeah. He has a music video yeah, yeah, back yeah. in the day in the tunnel. And it was very similar with the lights and the black and white. And it was very like, it fucked with your eyes. And, and it, 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 Moments, shit like that, like 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 moment, like approaches like that, like get get what you need, the the attention, you know what I'm saying? So I, Raymond I get it. Raymond is fine. Yeah, that's that all credit dope. to him for how he put it together. I love like, that. That show was amazing. I love that. I love that. Now, um, kick it. Talk to me about that's two videos in one. So kick it, yeah, that's two videos in one. Basically, Talk kick it me. is me. I really wanted to make the. Kind of like theme of it was like me coming home from school. So I'm on the LIRR and shit. Yeah. But it was kind of like we kind of put it together a little lot, not last minute, but like not that far before we dropped. Mm. And it was fun because I had this shit attached to me and I was really running through the street. You can't see how much I was running through the street, but that shit was like attached to my body. Oh, it was one of those. Okay, yeah, I know. It was attached about. to my body, right? And I'm hold, but I'm holding it with one hand. Right. And the camera is out in front of me, and I'm weaving through cars like we waited for the red light in Midtown, and I'm going through all the nooks and crannies of all these cars. But you can't tell exactly. But it was fun. And then and then we was just on a roof. It looks like it's a fucking like a green screen. Oh wait. Oh with uh. The second half of it. Yeah, the second half. Yeah. It looks like a green screen, but it's not. It's like we really were on the thirty second floor Sheesh. in Brooklyn Heights. Like <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> the fuck. How we got here? How did we get here? Nah, but five video. Same. Is it? Is nah, is, is that video? Um. That's Owen. That's the same guy that did Time in the Week. Time, okay. Time in the Week. So Owen. Yeah. Shout out to Owen, man. Great, 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 great Owen visuals. Hamill. Oh, shout out to Owen Hamill. Great That's visuals. That's yeah, what it is. Visuals, for real. Greener Grass, the most recent release, correct? Oh, yeah. Talk to so me about that. That's when my Kelly is one of my very good friends. Love Kelly, correct? School. Yeah, love Kelly. And we have been, I've known him since when I was in Vermont, I went to one of his shows. At higher ground, it was like 850 people, and these kids from Vermont were like fucking tweaking over <sighs> these kids, and I was like mad confused how much how they had so much emotion. Like Kelly was low key like felt mad famous to me over there. Okay, I couldn't speak to him, but then he was just in the hallway when I started going to school in the city, and I was like, yo, I went to one of your shows, I think. And then since then, we've been mad good friends. And we always wanted to do a video. Shout out to Nadia and J Ray for the Gore Tex. Mm. That shit was super fire. And we just went to Riverbank State Park and just wanted to do some shit with the colors. It was all yes, color. Yeah. It was all color driven. Then we were like, let's get a set and do the green with the yellow flowers. Mm -hmm. Same green and yellow. Fire. And then we just like wanted to go with the color. That was kind of the theme of the video. Was just. Trying to do some steezy fly shit with those colors. Love that. Love that. Listen, you got to have color on the canvas yeah, at yeah. all times, man. This Absolutely. is what it is. Absolutely. So look, all those music videos, Time in the Week, Mine's Good, Kick It, 
Greener Grass out now yes, on sir. YouTube. Yes, Go sir. watch that. That is not a request. That's a fucking demand. Or we suplex your mother. This is what it is. This is okay. what we came to suplex. do. <laughs> suplex okay. is tough. That's I don't want to be violent. Fuck with that. I don't want to be violent, nah, but I, I, grew, I grew up in the wrestling era, the Raw era, SmackDown. It's acceptable. Sometimes you got to throw an older woman through a table. It happens. Got to, got to. It happens. You know, it's, 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 it's part of the process. I personally haven't indulged yet. But <laughs> All right. Well, man. listen, one day. Everyone you, gets their day. <laughs> everyone gets their moment. Everyone gets their <laughs> table. You know what I mean? Um, Brother, to, 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 to not fully wrap it up as far as like the, the talking about industrial denim, but, I, but with this question, I do want to get some type of summary energy. What do you think will resonate to people about Andre Lawrence through this project? I think it's going to be super refreshing for people to hear because I feel like they're just going to get like someone, a genuine kid, and it's going to be conveyed in a way that's like... I feel like a lot of kids are doing that right now. Right. I just think I'm low key gonna do it better. <laughs> low key, and 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 I think okay. that I think it's gonna Talk resonate. It, I think it's gonna really resonate because I feel like the topical, like the way people look at making songs now, mm -hmm. like the way people are like, "Yo, this song is about blank." Right. A lot of people's songs, you can't do that anymore. It's fly and 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 it's great. Like the music is always great, but it's like I think what's really gonna resonate is that people are gonna like listen to it and be like, okay, he's talking about this. Right. What is he saying about it? Mm -hmm. The elaboration. It's like he's talking about this. What is he saying about right, it? Right. Right. And this me and this is gonna affect this because why? Right. You know, like it's just like kind of digging a little deeper into a subject. And there you and, go and making something identifiable and relatable the same way like Kanye might have done with College Dropout in a right, certain way where right. it was kind of like deprived. Every song meant something. It was deprived of this like genuinity of just being a regular person and just mm. existing in the world. Love that. That's a great fucking answer, man. <laughs> that was great. This, try, this is I'm what trying. it is. Nah, man, you ain't trying, man. Somebody told me the other day. Actually, actually shout out to Sko. We had Sko here. Earlier, earlier, was it earlier in the, I think it was earlier in the, he, he told me a, um, a story about, I forgot who it was that spoke to him, but somebody told him to take try out of your vocabulary. That's, and that's I was just fine. like, all right, you know, I, 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 I had my moments where, I, where I'm, like, let's say I'll get like somebody to compliment me, compliment me or something like that. I'll say, yo, I'm just trying, I'm trying, thank you, thank you. And yeah. sometimes the word trying is a powerful word that can... Maybe bring the value down of what you actually are doing. This is true. But mm -hmm. I also think talk about it. That there's a way of being like humble with it. Yes. I think that's my I think that's the, the, the it's like you know you're gonna do this shit. You right. know in the bottom of your heart what you are. Right. But when you're when you're speaking to someone else about it, in order to kind of get them on your side and not make them feel like you're being overly confident yes. or over not that you can be overly yeah. confident, but to make the other person feel more comfortable with your idea. Right, you absolutely. Say, I'm going to try to do this. Absolutely. It's like, okay, maybe I'm going to do this. It's like you're not acknowledging the factor of risk. Right, right. Even absolutely. though you know in your heart what's going to happen. For sure. You know it's 100% in your heart. For sure. But other people trying to ration or like trying to identify logic and a sentiment that you're saying, Yeah. you want to... Acknowledge the risks so that they can be like, oh yeah, I can't. Maybe you will, because because they will. can maybe relate to risk. They can relate to risk. Absolutely, they don't I have agree. the same feeling of confidence in themselves, so it's not like yeah. they're gonna get on board with you off rip. 1, so you want to kind of work with the other person to to be able to make them see your vision. Absolutely, I agree. I agree, man. Well, well put together. This is what it is. What we came to do. We came to have legendary, elite, substantial dialogue. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Dialogue with meaning. This is Absolutely. what it is. So I want to get into this other segment called dissect these lyrics. So I chose three songs out of the project. Now, I did have the 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 luxury of being sent. Uh, the project before it dropping. Number one, I appreciate that. Of course. It's kind of becoming this like legendary thing where like, bro, I got mad untitled streams. Mm. Yeah, that, like, that was a great site. That was my first time seeing that nah, site, bro. That shit, I got 
so many because I just like that shit is just a secret right now. That it's shit just is like, a gem. It's like low key a secret that just exists in this secret streaming service. Okay, and it's now just like, it's a secret, but it's gonna exist. But like, and it will be not even close to a secret. Yeah, but eventually, right? But I, I it but, was such know, the easiest be, way yeah. to listen to an album that's not out yet. Yeah, because most untitled. people, because yeah, because most people do private like SoundCloud links or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. But this was kind of cool because it had the vinyl swag to it. It was like oh, or oh, swipe to open that. Yeah, it was fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, was like, calm, it caught it me off guard. I was like, oh shit! All right, course, what we doing? Calm, heard it. Listen. So again, I chose three songs. Um, these are songs from Industrial Denim. Yes, sir. Dropping April 7th, fully produced <clears throat> by Arla Walker. This is what it is. We're going to start with the first one, Dawn. Now, if there's any moments where you need to correct me, you do so. All good. All you good. do so. I feel like you're going to do it. Come on, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Now, we're going to start trying. with Dawn. Oh, try, here we go again. Like It's in full <laughs> circle, man. Like, That's what I'm saying. These are moments where vocabulary slaps you in the head. They say it happens. What are we going to do? <laughs> Dawn. Life is more than just a mere surface. You could sell your soul, but just know that means somebody made a weird purchase. And now you question what your worth is, probably in the hands of somebody who doesn't deserve it. I see, do you, bro, do you understand? Like, this shit doesn't exist in real life. This is like, <laughs> this is like up level, bro. Nah. <laughs> I, I don't want to toot nah, nah, I just for, I to, forget bro. sometimes you that I wrote to. that. I first forget sometimes that I wrote that. Nah. Let's start with the first half. All right, yeah, yeah. Life yeah. is more than just a mere surface. You could sell your soul, but just know that somebody made a weird like, purchase. Mom, all right, like if you sell your soul, <laughs> like if you buy in someone else's soul and and the company, if you're selling your soul to a company, right? Or right. An industry or whatever. Yes. Whatever that phrase may mean to you, mm -hmm. that person is like, they not getting something genuine because you were willing to sell your soul. Right. So it's a weird purchase to make. Why Very the fuck weird. would you want someone else's soul? That shit crazy. Because motherfuckers don't got with one. Yourself. Motherfuckers yeah. don't got souls they out soulless. here. They soulless. Yeah, that's what it is. They soulless. Soulless and spineless, you motherfuckers. Yeah. All right. And now you question what your worth is. Probably in the hands of somebody who doesn't deserve it. It's kind exactly, of stepping off of that. Exactly, because then you're yeah. like, then you feel like, then there are all these people that have sold their souls, so-called, and yeah. like exist in the industry, and then it's like, you're they're actually mentally torn inside, yeah, and they're questioning what their worth is because it's in the hands of someone else is determining all your decisions for you, which in is in the hands nuts. of somebody who doesn't deserve it, which is not someone else is has control over. What happens with your art and what happens with your life? And Nigga, so deciding how, what you have for breakfast. Exactly. That's that's how this should be, though. Bad work, bad vibes, bad vibes, nasty work, filthy. Let them all crumble. I want them to all crumble. Those Let soulless, crumble. fucking alligators. Yeah. Listen, that was dawn. It happens to be. Is it the first song on the project? Number Listen, one. come on now. We we here. We're gonna go with the next one. Fifth dimension. Sometimes I get faded and feel closer to God Other times I be jaded, no emotion at all But now my mind and body detached I've been dis disassociating And this song is an artifact from the mental state I stayed in I want to start with the first half Sometimes I get faded and feel closer to God Other times I be jaded, no emotion at all So that's like Getting high Can be I have like a weird relation. I guess a weird relationship with getting high because it's like I love it, but sometimes it's just like gets me mad depressed because I'll just be smoking mad weed in my room all day and I feel bad. Like I feel un. I feel unfulfilled. That's interesting. So to it's say. like. So it's like sometimes that shit is like cathartic and and you can do shrooms and get get high and you're fucking like. Feel closer to God, I guess. Right. And then other times you feel dull and there's no, and there's no like, you're not feeling the fullest extent of emotion that you might when you're sober. You, mm. where you get this, you can feel super bad, super bad or feel super good, yeah. but you don't, but when you're like really smoking a lot or like really high in that way, you might feel just dull somewhere in between that's just dull. 
That's very true, man. I did. Sometimes I've I've had moments like that where I felt like I've done myself a disservice. Yeah. By getting too high. Type shit. You know what I mean? And other times I've had moments where I've been smacked and I feel like I'm I'm passenger seat with God. I'm chilling. No you know way. what I'm saying? Blasting some Marvin Gaye yeah. on the highway, chilling, macking. Second part. But now my mind and body detached. I've been disassociating, and this song is an artifact from the mental state I stayed in. So it's like when you get geeked, so geeked. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> like I'm that. just talking about it. But talk about when it, you bro. get so geeked in the month, you ever know, like you ever feel like you're watching yourself through TV? It's like your mind mm. and body is detached. It's like you feel like you're just sitting there. But something else you're watching through yeah, some other lens. On some Truman Show shit. On some, f bro, that shit will fuck with me. I'll be like, feel mad out of my body. Like, um, I'm just kind of there and and watching myself on some, yeah. on some I shit. Can, I can feel that. I can feel that. And so, and so that song, and that's just like letting everyone know that that song is about a lot more than that in my opinion it's right. like about really about this consciousness okay like that nah you weren't at that specific one but that's like the krs one in the beginning it's about the fifth dimension you know when yes. he talks about yes yes it's the rock star shit yeah. so it's like that shit is about my mind specifically when i'm like super high and, mm. and and I feel like my mind and body is detached because I'm disassociating. With Be like that, man. But I, but I'm I'm glad you were able to um to 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 not only word it but like you know put that put that 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 way of looking at it on display. Because sometimes I do feel like we all get a little too high sometimes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Nah, especially if it's like chronic and like you okay. just smoking, right? And then it's like. I'd say like you're almost looking at life sometimes through like a fresh lens type shit. Right. It's like all of a sudden you're like, what the fuck? Right. What even is this shit? Mm. <laughs> Hello, is, is anybody home? There used to be yeah. fucking. There used to be fucking dinosaurs here. Yeah. Now once the smoke clears, start fucking bugging the fuck out. <laughs> There's supposed to be dinosaurs. There were dinosaurs in the same spot that I was just walking on. At one but, point. And then, then you have a moment, I don't know about you, but then I I have a moment and be like, wait, but bro, did we really have dinosaurs? Yeah, bro. It's a constant this battle is, with questions. I don't know what's too going many, on. Bro. But don't. then you're like, damn, the fossils though. It's there, there's there's evidence. The natural history museum, that shit has got that's the best shit to go to when you high though. That shit got big ass fossils though. Yeah, they there's no way shit. that's fake. You think? I don't know, man. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know, bro. At this point, I don't know what I'm being sold. It's hard. It's hard to know. Yeah. And I think we're not supposed to. I think yes. that's the thing, too. Like, I think trying to know or wanting to know too much is the thief of joy. Exactly. You got to be. You it, just got to. I. It I'm, is what I, I exist, at least. I guess so. You know yeah. what I mean? Listen, that's, that's what it that's is. That's a good way. I think yeah, that's man. a good perspective. You feel me? That's, that's that. And, and that's a perspective that, had, that, that for me just naturally came because. It was like, dog, it's, it's, it's like, it's time to save the world. Where in the world is all the time? In the words of Erica Badu. Where in the world is all the time? Where, like, you want me to say the world, but where in the world is all the fucking time? Well, I, I don't know what to figure out. I'm just here. I'm just happy to be, uh, I'm Fuck just happy to that. wake up. Facts. Give me my cup of coffee. Let's yeah, go. Let's get the get day it. started. All right, now, now we're going to go with the third and last one. Starfall. I don't take resistance, embrace the vision, and remain consistent. I make music for philosophers, but you could also play to misfits. And they'll probably smile. I put my spiff, spliff to the star while the sky falls down. That shit was, that shit was hard. Yeah, hey, talk to me about the first part. I don't take resistance, embrace the vision, remain consistent. I make music for philosophers, but you could also play to misfits. Okay, it's like... It's like I get, I don't know if you could tell, especially in this album, mm -hmm. the next album isn't going to be like that exactly, okay. but this was a very philosophical, like, I like that. I do a lot of questioning and oh, I'm yeah. doing a lot of like in-depth kind of like commentary on it. So I'm kind of, the first part is kind of just talking about how 
keep your head down. Don't take resistance. Mm. Just fall in completely and embrace the vision and then just keep going every day. Just keep being persistent with your shit and not letting up at all. And then it's like, I'm making music for philosophers that you could also play to misfits. Like this shit for kids smoke. You could listen to my shit smoking fucking mad weed, skateboarding and doing whatever. Right. But also this shit is like about a lot of shit. Right. It's like, I'm analyzing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, it's it, the product is for universal consumption. Exactly, it's, it's for the universal. Mold. Exactly, you know what I mean. It's for the most. We're excluding no one. Absolutely, inclusive, no yeah. exclusive, inclusive, and they'll probably smile. I put my spliff to the star while the sky falls down. Oh yeah, like I don't know what I meant by that, really. Do you, do you, have you ever done that though? Have you ever like? Of course, took a, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, just yeah. be like, oh, this is this. Yeah, shout that's out to more life. like that's like when the specific spot that I'm envisioning that entire song was when I was like on this cliff in Montauk. Okay, that's interesting. Talk you know, for me on the cliff, like staring at or wait, I'm tweaking. Were you on the cliff, brother? I thought I wait. <laughs> hold up, I'm trying to. Because then I just started off with staring at the bridge. I definitely wasn't in Montauk staring at you the bridge. You wasn't on Montauk. But I said cliff in there. That's probably what I meant. Cause that's Did you say cliff? cliff? That's the only cliff I've ever been to. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. No, but cliff. you said I put my oh. spliff to the star while the sky falls down. Yeah, like you put it like, I don't know. Sometimes I don't know what I meant. I, think, I, I think really don't know what I it's meant. A bar Maybe as the night falls, type the shit. sky fell down, the night As the night fell, falls, you getting high. I'm getting high, yeah, yeah. I guess that was the point. I think I did it more for dramatic effect to lead into the hook I can see of the stars falling down. Absolutely. That's more like a metaphor about kind of like childhood finishing. Mm, interesting. You feel me? Interesting. I like I that. Think. I like that. Now, now, I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy, but I think you know. I think that you think that you know. I don't know if I made any sense, but feel me? I feel like that makes sense. You got to play with words sometimes, you Absolutely. know what I mean? Um. So those were three songs that I chose out all for the project. Again, Industrial Denim, dropping April 7th, fully produced by Arlo Walker. Yo, man, I appreciate you pulling up, bro. Yo, thank you for having me. You know me, what man. I mean? Like, I, 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 I appreciate you sending me the project early. I bumped it. it was like the, I, I told you. you it was like I wanted to because you were like, "Yo, should I should we bump it when I pull up?" We could do that too, but for the most part, I was like, "Yo, I need this to be like yeah, I'm a yeah, very conceptual, I, I also theme yeah. based person. I need I like it that. to be the soundtrack of my day, especially that's if fine. I know we're gonna have a conversation." And you fuck. What was your favorite song? My favorite song. I do like the Skull Joint. The beat, that beat is stupid to me. I like Dawn a lot. The, the album starts off straight up mad soulful. OD that's, that's to the, the max. The and goal. Dawn sets it off. I, I even like the I even like the uh the interlude yeah, where you yeah, start yeah. saying things about your mom calling you. Yeah, like, yeah. come home, the one train stops running, no. and 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 how you're battling with that, and then you, but your phone is on one percent. And it was a lot. It was a lot. Facts. You 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 built uh you brought me back to being a teen. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real. That's good. I felt that's, the- that's the vibe. Like it's for the kids. Yes. Yo, it's for the kids. Like, of course, I love all my OGs and I love everyone. Of course, but hip-hop. everybody was a kid before. Everybody but was yeah, a kid once. I'm trying to like bring the feeling to some because the kids they don't got no good shit to listen to. <laughs> Adolescents, they don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. All about the it. kids that are like in high school and middle school right now, like my, I got little brothers and shit. Like, yes, they they don't listen to. Good music, hip hop, bro. Talk about it because there's no ki- uh, kids there like that are like even close to relatable for them to be like right. follow. There are those kids, but they do a different type of music. Yeah, they doing that new yeah. shit. I mean, we were speaking about this be- be- before we got started, man. It's 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 the micro the microwavable era. It's a lot of yeah. they, these kids are all hot pockets right now. They're all eating hot pockets, but they looking for something that they can relate, relate to, to and the and the. Shit that they can relate to is a type of music that I don't fuck with. It happens. So I want to, I want them to be ill and not Sherm. Like what the fuck. 
There are mad sherm kids that's just walking around now. You look in high schools and shit, they're just sherm. No one is hard body anymore. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, they, 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 I mean, shout out to shout out to everyone. Shout out know? to the kids, yo, buy that album, yo. Buy that album, man. No, you guys but, don't suck. Listen. <laughs> But one thing I do to to, to 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 wrap it all up though, one thing I definitely feel like I got from this was, and kind of how you said earlier, how uh, the chapter of being a teen is closing. This is what this album feels like. Uh, it feels like you're entering your next chapter of an That's adult. Exactly what it was too. Of an adult, That's exactly and what it was. and you are about to, you know, bring your bring your vision to reality as an adult. And, and, and like you're enjoying your youth as much as you can, knowing that it's about to be... Exact. That's exactly the whole point of it. Yeah. But there's also this topical shit on there that's right. just got its own like themes. And I just am conveying different themes because this is the shit that clouds my headspace in that certain phase. Right. And so it's just like taking you through it type shit. I love that. Listen, this this is what it is. Again, I'm I'm big on concepts. I'm big on themes, and I love people that that uh, put effort into their uh, passion projects. That's all, uh, you know, I'm about saying. effort. You know what I mean? Big E. You know what I mean? Oh, no yes. ecstasy, just effort. Yes, <laughs> no, no drugs. No, no drugs. <laughs> Listen, man. Again, bro, I appreciate you for pulling up, bro. I appreciate and, you. Right and right. of course, but then wanting to have this conversation and um. I have high hopes for you, bro. Thank you. Thank you know what you. I mean? I Thank heard the project and I first I was I was already seeing you, you know, drop the visuals and things like that. And like I said before we had a conversation yeah. at Dust's crib. And um I was you heard like a lot of those tracks around that right. time when I was making them That's type interesting. shit. That's and interesting. I was playing them for Dusty. I remember I had just made Rich and we were like I was like, yo <laughs> That's interesting. He, yeah. I remember, but what really caught me though was just the conversation we had. Though. Yeah, that was calm. Yeah, and it was um, you know, it, it it it, and I don't like to relay everything back to age and things like that. But I think you, for, for you know, for a person that's entering the the your chapter of I guess quote unquote being an adult, you already got a good head on your shoulders, bro. Thank you. Thank you know, you. you think a lot and and you yeah. dissect things, you analyze, like you said, and I feel like that translates to the project, brother. I appreciate you. Of bro. course, man. So I think everybody's gonna enjoy it. Go, listen, April seventh. You know what I mean? April seventh. With Arlo Walker, fully produced, yes, dust real denim. You know what I'm saying? On you getting dot. on the fucking did I? You know what I mean? Um, on the oh, before we close out, this is how I truly want to close out. Um, if you had one word to describe the next five years of your life, what would it be? Five years is close enough to call it, far enough to activate imagination. If you had one word. To describe the next five years of your life, what would it be? Hmm. Listen, we here. Damn, this is a kind of like <laughs> low key choking in the in the nine because I really can't. I can't put it all into one word. Can I, I use so, three? So, yes, absolutely. Larger than life. Ooh, LTL. Larger than life. I like that. And that's how we're going to close out. I love that. I love that. Andre Lawrence, again, brother, thank you for pulling up, bro. Dust Real Denim, April 7th, fully produced by Ola Walker. Go check that. Go stream that. Go share that. Go post that. You know what I'm saying? Anything else is uncivilized, corrupted conversations. Young Angie Martinez, first place trophies.